Hey guys, today we are in my kitchen. I'm not sure if you guys can really tell because the screen, nothing's really showing, but I am in my kitchen. Today I'm doing a video on what I eat pre and post workout. I don't eat all of these things all at once, but I did want to show what I usually eat or my options or, I don't know, just my favorite things to eat before and after. Peanut butter and rice crackers are my favorite thing ever. Rice crackers are the best invention. I don't even, I don't even know. I don't even, how did I discover them? I don't know. They just got in my pantry. Actually, no, my mom actually showed them to me when I lived back at home. So that's how I discovered them. Anyway, what I do is I just grab a little rice cracker. You guys can get these anywhere. The health food store ones are probably the healthier option. And then grabbing your favorite peanut butter. I got this one from Trader Joe's and you literally just put a little slab of peanut butter on top and you are good to go. It is such an easy, quick kind of pick me up so you're not working out on an empty stomach, but then again, it's not like too filling that you're gonna throw up. I forgot to say I eat all of these about an hour before workout, or maybe 30 minutes. I don't try to eat anywhere sooner than 30 minutes because that's like way too soon to me and then when I'm running, I can like feel the food, it's gross. The next thing is yogurt and strawberries. Very simple, all these pre-workout um, little lunch, not lunch, pre-workout little snack ideas are very simple because I don't like to eat a lot before I work out. So this is great, it's just yogurt from the health food store, like I said, try to get a yogurt without all the added unnecessary things like added sugars, added additives, I don't know. I just, I try to stick to like the simplest yogurt possible and then just berries. I chose strawberries. You can do blueberries, I mean, whatever you feel. But just adding a little bit of yogurt and then dice up strawberries. It's so delicious and it's like a parfait. I could add bananas to it, I mean anything. Fruit and yogurt, the combo's great. Okay, the next thing is just, just a plain and simple banana. That is all. You can add peanut butter if you want, but sometimes all I want is just super simple. It's one of those foods that really don't upset my stomach if I eat it right before because it's such like a, I don't know, light fruit. It just works for my body and my body loves bananas. Alrighty, next is a smoothie. Now this is something I definitely have an hour before. I don't want to drink this like right as I'm going because it's not like a protein shake. So, I mean, it is a protein shake, but it's not like a super lightweight protein shake. There is a lot of density to it. The first thing you'll need is a half a cup of almond milk, half a cup of yogurt, one frozen banana, a handful of spinach, one scoop of protein powder, and one cup of mixed berries. That's it. Throw it in the Vitamix and blend away. It's delicious. But like I said, definitely drink this before you go to the gym, at least 45 minutes to 30 minutes before. And I just want to disclaim, I am not telling you what to eat or what to do before you work out. This is just what I do and I wanted to share that with you guys. Post-workout, I have to eat something right as soon as I stop working out. Like, I mean, I literally feel nauseous and stick to my stick, <laughs> stick to my stomach if I do not eat at least 10 minutes after my workout. That might seem crazy. Like some, some of you guys might be able to just stick it out till dinner or till lunch, breakfast, whatever time of the day you work out. I usually work out at nights, so I have to have something and then I'll have my dinner, however long later after my shower or something. So these are just the things that I eat right after. They're not necessarily my dinner because I do have another meal after this. Hummus and baby carrots. Oh my gosh, this is like, Oh, it's like candy to me. I could just like sit and eat like a whole bag of like Reese's little cups But this is just as addicting even though it's nowhere near Reese's cups. Gosh, why did I say that? My point is it's just like addicting. I'll just sit there and like dip a carrot, dip a carrot, yeah, dip a carrot, mmm. And then I don't feel nauseous or like sick anymore. Not saying that I feel nauseous right after my workout. It's just like if I don't replenish my body, I start to feel that way. I got these carrots from the uh, my local co-op. How cool are they? Rainbow carrots? Yes. And then the hummus is just from Trader Joe's. So delish, 
delish and such a good pick-me-up. You can just throw it in your gym bag and you're good to go. Okay, protein bars are my favorite thing for, I don't know, I like them after my workout. I guess you could eat them before, but I like to keep the things before more lightweight and afterwards I'm like, mm, give it to me, I'm hungry. My all-time favorite protein bar is from Idaho. It's here locally made. I live in Idaho and so if you live in the Boise area, you can find them at any local, I find them at the co-op. I have not seen, they don't sell in like Albertsons or those type of things because they are locally made here. So yeah, I find them at coffee shops and the co-op. I haven't seen them at Trader Joe's or Winco or anything like that, but like I said, oh, I didn't even say the name. Okay, they are Jetty Bars. Oh my God, amazing, amazing. And I always look at the ingredients because I'm like such a freak of looking at ingredients. I do it with everything. And it's kind of how I like tell if it's gonna be a right choice for me or not. I love that I can read every single thing. And yes, my favorite one is the dark chocolate or the chocolate one, but I don't know. I still, I mean, yes, there is sugar in chocolate, but if you get like good semi-sweet chocolate, and that's what it is, semi-sweet chocolate, there's only you with little chocolate chips and it's like a treat even though I shouldn't be having a treat right after my workout anyway it is honestly the best protein bar I've ever had I could live on those things I swear I've eaten like three in one day probably not good but <laughs> I have two more protein bars for those of you that cannot get the jetty bars because I know they are just locally made in Idaho the Lara bar is amazing I love that they name them like like this one is cashew cookies. So you think there's like all these ingredients, like all these ingredients, and you literally go to the back, and you read, oh, what is this? Oh, cashews and dates. Two ingredients. What? It's amazing. I love them. I I love all of the lar bars. They are it says the original fruit and nut food bar. Mm mm mm. Gluten free, dairy free, soy free, vegan, and kosher. What the heck is kosher? What does that mean? Anyway, the Lara Bar is definitely a go for me, and the next favorite is Kind Bars. Oh my gosh, they're so good. Oh, and I forgot to say, peanut butter is like my favorite kind of bar. I know the cashew cookie one is just that there's no peanut butter yet, but peanut butter is like my go-to pick. So the Jetty Bar has a ton of peanut butter in it. This Kind Plus Bar, 7 grams of protein. All natural, non-GMO, gluten-free, low glycemic, 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 not glycemic. Good source of fiber, low sodium, and no trans fat. And this is the peanut butter and dark chocolate. Yes, I know there's dark chocolate in it, but it's so good. And I also like that these are hard, whereas the Jetty Bar and the Lara Bar are very um, soft. The Kind Bar also really doesn't have that many ingredients. It's definitely more than the Lara Bar. This has peanuts, almonds, honey. Sugar, that's no, that's annoying. Non-GMO glucose, soy protein, palm kernel oil, cacao powder, peanut butter, root fiber, tapioca starch, vanilla whole milk, soy, lactium, and salt. Okay, whatever, they're delicious, but maybe I can't read all the ingredients. Last thing for my post-workout um, ideas or what I eat post-workout is hard-boiled eggs. Now, now you can do this a day ahead, a few days ahead you can do it right then when you come home it just takes a little bit I don't honestly like to come home and make hard boiled egg to eat right then because it takes like 15 minutes maybe like 12 minutes depending how you like your hard boiled egg I honestly like to eat them plain or with just a little bit of salt and it really is so delicious eggs are like the number one Almost number one. I think I saw that somewhere. Like a number one food for eating post-workout. You can do scrambled eggs, hard-boiled eggs. I wouldn't suggest doing like a fried egg because that is more fried. You can do a poached egg. I don't know. Hard-boiled egg just seems easy because you can just, like I said, pop them in your workout bag, put them in a little Ziploc, and you're good to go. They aren't messy. doesn't take a lot of time. You could do it the night before. What I do, you could pop them in the water, get in the shower, and come out, and they're done. I boil them for about 10 to 12 minutes. I don't like when the yolk is like oozy. I don't know. I like it in between. I don't like it so it's super flaky and gross, but I don't like it to be oozy. So I do it about 10 to 12 minutes. It's kind of, it's kind of I always 
it's I can never get it the exact same because I don't have like a thermometer and some people use the thermometer to check the temperature of the water and then they're like oh it's done I don't do that I just kind of wing it every time and it comes out good I hope you guys enjoyed this what I eat pre and post workout video I know I've been doing a lot of food videos and my channel is called beauty by Brie XO but I want to just do what I like and I want to do what I enjoy doing which I love makeup and beauty but I also love food that's my like second passion so I hope you guys enjoyed this and I will talk to you later bye it's just a plain and simple banana <laughs> a plain and simple oh Riley don't knock over my camera <laughs> I'm in a video I'm, I'm filming <laughs> just a plain oh my god